Today I'm going to be showing you how to set a minnow trap in order to catch only minnows. And uh, the reason I'm saying that is because I'm throwing it in a creek that's full of crawfish. Now this is a G40 G's minnow trap and it's specifically designed fine mesh to catch only minnows. But I'm telling you, if you throw it down in these environments that have lots of crawfish, you're going to catch them. And uh, we do quite often. So here's the idea. So pull up this trap. This is another G40 G's trap that I set last night. Same waters. And it's completely full of crawfish. You know, you'll notice a lack of perch and minnows in there. Once these guys get inside, your crawfish and uh, fin creatures are not going to be very likely to jump in there at all. So sometimes we want to catch the crawfish. Depends on what kind of fishing you're doing. This method will show you how to catch the minnows and only the minnows. Now this is going to be a floating method. So take your trap. That works out. You're going to need two other things. First off, a water bottle. And uh, recycle. This is one of your Ozarka or Dasani water bottles. Uh, play around with the size of them. A little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. It all depends on uh, how deep or how high you want this trap to sit in the water whenever it's floating around. I'm going to go ahead and put this bottle inside. Unclip it. Throw your bait in there if you're ready to set it out. And clip it back again. And you're not really going to have to worry about uh, affixing the bottle anywhere. It can float around. Usually on the placement, it'll uh, go exactly where it needs to go and keep your trap centered. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is that if you're throwing this out into a creek or a stream or even with the wind blowing, you're going to have the issue of the, the trap actually floating around. And at some point or another, it's going to float up against uh, one of your banks. And at that time, the crawfish are going to be able to get to it. So what I usually use is a, a scrap or a lead weight. I've got an old hex bolt that's uh, wallowed out. So I'm going to reuse it a little bit. Throw a lark's head through it. I've got about two foot of line on it. Depends on how deep your creek is or, or whatever water you're using. And I'm fixing that weight there so it doesn't slide. And the idea is that as I throw that out there, wherever that weight falls, unless I have some really strong winds, it ought to keep this trap from floating too far away from it. So toss it out. That fix your line. Make sure that you're staying within your uh, federal and local laws. So we tag these and we put our information on them. Check them often. Uh, every two, three hours, come back and check it. But the concept again is that only your swimmers, only your, uh, your things like your minnows are going to be able to get to that trap at this time. The crawfish can look up at it longingly, as long as they want to, but they shouldn't have access to it. And this should give you all your little fin friends, lots of good bait, and your trap should be crawfish free. So guys, we're going to go ahead and set this out. Come back in a couple hours, we'll see how it works and show you what's going on. But there you go, guys. How to set a minnow trap in crawfish waters. I almost forgot, guys. Before you set this thing out, make sure you got bait in it. I use dry dog food. Everybody always asks. Cheapest dry dog food is the best bait. So about a handful, handful and a half. Lasts you upwards of eight to 12 hours. Works quickly and attracts just about everything. So there we go. Yeah, second time to try. It's been two hours and we're gonna go ahead and check the trap for the first time. So remember, this is set out in the middle of water that's caught a lot of crawfish. There's our weight. You can't really see them yet, but you can definitely hear them. That is a lot of minnows. Shake them into one side. Oh, heck yes. There you go, guys. That ought to be enough bait to do something. That's two hours, not a single crawfish. And again, you're in the exact same spot as this other trap. Same trap, same place, catching distinctly different things. So, all right. Hello, group. That is how you set your traps out your minnow traps at least, to catch minnows in crawfish infested areas. Like and subscribe, and as always, till next time.